front and I haven't been able to touch my toes for 10 years, my back is really bad and I can do it. I almost touched my Jesus. So what happens in an accident? I've had a car accident since and nothing's touched me. Um, I'm also one of these people that never come out the front. I'm always at the back. But in the week that followed, coming to one of John's meetings, I have got my self-esteem. I can come out, I yeah. can talk about Jesus. Yeah. I can talk about the love that I have. And I'm so confident that anybody who needs healing will get it. So it's just been down, been down. Wow, you did the... Shoes the first time. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And God also not only touched you physically, touched you emotionally. I have been able to forgive people in my past that I have I have had people that have hurt me from right back when I was five and, and seven years old, and I've never been able to forgive them. Mm. I I openly forgave these people and the the, the enlightenment, the, the actual positiveness that have come into my life, I just cannot explain it. Except that it's the Lord. I, that's the only thing I can say. Can I ask you, how did you come to the place of forgiveness? What, what, did the Holy Spirit speak to you? Was it something that said in the meeting? What happened? The Holy Spirit touched me. Um, it, my, I went to my own church on the Sunday and my minister had run me during the week. And he said, would I speak in front of the congregation? And I said, oh no, not me, not me. <laughs> anyway, as the Sunday, the Saturday night, I'd made up my mind, I wasn't going to go to church on the Sunday because I was going to go back in the front. I got myself, I found myself up and dressed and in church and I'm thinking, oh, oh dear. <laughs> While I was out there, I felt just this immediate piece of joy. And the minister said, oh, do you want me to ask you questions? And I said, no, I'd like to tell my story. <laughs> and he sort of looked at me because he, <coughs> he knows me. And he said, oh, oh, okay. But I was able to come out and I was enlightened. And at the end of my, my talk, all of a sudden I thought, thank you. And I have been able to the Holy Spirit touched me yeah. that day in the church. Wow. So, you know, healing <coughs> is just physically, it's also emotional. Yeah. Yeah. And see, one of the keys to her being set free was forgiveness. Mm. Yeah, you know, if you're in a seminar yesterday, I was sharing that unforgiveness blocks the power of God, yeah. blocks the healing power of God. Yeah. And it could be someone out there who needs a miracle. What would you like to say to them? Please come up and pray, but believe. Believe it can happen to you. I was one person that did not believe it could happen to me. And my self-esteem, I must admit, I was in the congregation listening to John, and he asked for someone to come up, and I went, me? And she said, no, not me. <laughs> but I found myself, at, and John will tell you, I could not face the congregation. Although I knew a lot of the people that were there, my, the whole time, my back was to the congregation. And I've come from Bensdale, I, no, nobody here except the people that have come with me. And I can stand in front of you because the Lord has given me the confidence. He has given me the Holy Spirit to come out and pass His word on to you all. Please believe and have faith. He will touch you. God bless you. Thank you very much.